Okay, uh, hello guys. This is bankincrisis.com again, and uh, we are here to explain some of the more um, examples on syllogism. And thank you very much for having a look at our last video. Uh, we got many responses, and we really appreciate that. Well, I also got some of the um, uh, queries regarding uh, video uploading in Hindi. So uh, I'd like to tell all those guys who are more uh, inclined towards. Uh, getting the knowledge of syllogism in Hindi uh, let me uh, have a good news for you that I can um, I can be able to upload the Hindi videos very soon so just to cheer up so well now we proceed <coughs> actually uh, I'm going to explain um, five more questions on syllogism so that you could have a practice at your home and uh, the very first one is uh, some desk are tents, some tents are rivers and or rivers are ponds well you don't need to have a look at the statements as I said in my, in my last video that you need to start with the conclusions and you need to have a look at the middle terms between statements okay so now he uh, the first conclusion is some ponds are tents okay now we proceed you need to go from uh, ponds to tents okay to go from ponds to tents you need to consider two statements the number two and number three that says some tents are rivers and all rivers are ponds what I said in my last video is that you need to have a look at the middle term and the middle term is river okay if you have the middle term with all if you have the middle term with all you can create the connection if you don't have all in the middle term just skip the question and move forward because the the conclusion must be wrong if you don't have all um, with the middle terms so now we need to go from ponds to tents here the pond and here the tents and the middle term is the river and you have all associated with the river that means ponds are tents is exactly true so some ponds are tents that is fine well many of the students ask me that uh, why do we consider this sum because the ponds is not associated with sum so well uh, let me tell you that every time when there is nothing that means sum we can say all rivers are ponds can also be said as all rivers are some ponds so some ponds are tense exactly correct okay let me explain again you need to go from ponds to tense you need to have a look at the middle term river and river is having the word all that means some ponds are some tense is exactly true that means some points are tenses. The conclusion number one is correct. Well, you need to practice this question as many as possible. This type of questions because you don't have much time in the examination hall. Okay, you have, you have, you get uh, approximately 36 seconds for a, um, for a question. And if you go with my tricks, then I think syllogism the uh, five questions or let's say 10 questions of syllogism will take only two minutes only two minutes and I bet for that well the uh, another conclusion is some ponds are deaths ponds is here and deaths is here you need to go from statement number three to statement number one well you have already created a bridge between statement number three and statement number two for conclusion one so that is fine yeah now you need to go from statement number two to statement number one okay what I said that the middle term must be associated with the word all but here is some there is no all that means you cannot create a connection between statement number two and statement number one and for this conclusion statement number two and statement number one are must to be connected but you cannot connect because you don't have all with the middle term that is why the conclusion number two is wrong so Conclusion number one is 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 uh, are true, and the conclusion number uh, are, um, are two is false. Okay, you can try this trick as many as time at your home, and the more you practice, the more you learn. And well, there's a saying, very famous saying, that practice makes them perfect. So I'll say the practice, that practice makes the students able to be uh, able to win during the bank exams. Well, now question number two. I said that never have a look at the statement first. Go with the conclusion. Some rats are chairs. You need to go from rat to chair. That means you need to connect all these three statements together. So now we connect three statement number three to statement number two. 
okay well the connecting word the middle term is nice and there is all associated with the middle term that means you can connect statement number 3 to statement number 2 okay now we need to connect the statement number 2 to statement number 1 okay the middle term is pens and there is no all there is some that is why you cannot connect the statement number 2 with the statement number 1 and so the conclusion some rats are chairs is false i'm sorry for my typing mistake well it is false now we uh, come to the conclusion number 2 that says some rats i'm um, sorry for this spelling mistake well some rats are pens here is rat and here is pens well in conclusion number 1 also we have tried to connect the um, statement number 3 with the statement number 2 and we got succeeded that means the conclusion number 2 is exactly true but but let me explain one more time when we need to go from rat to pens we need to have a look at the knives because the knife is the middle term and the word all is associated with the knife that means we can connect rat with pens so some rats are pens is exactly true okay very good now uh, we move forward with the issue number 3 the question number 3 i'm sorry well the conclusion is some nets are forest well nets is here forest is here there is no all no all anywhere during these three statements so close your eyes and answer both the conclusions false now the reason why as i said that to reach any conclusion <coughs> you need to have the word all associated with the middle terms but as you see there is not even a single all in any of the statement then that means that we cannot reach any type of conclusion any type of conclusion that is given is false so every time when you see that the statements are not associated with all there is not even a single all in the question just skip the question and move forward both the conclusion will be false okay now we move to the question number 4 that says some buses are tables okay he is buses he is tables and we have all associated with all the statements then okay we can move forward now we need to go from buses to tables the middle term is room between the question number uh, between the question number 3 uh, between the statement number 3 and the statement number 2 and the middle term is rooms and the room is associated with the word all that means you can create the connection between 3 to 2 similarly between the statement number 2 and the statement number 1 you have the middle term windows and the windows is uh, uh, and this all is associated with window that means you can also create a connection between statement number 2 and statement number 1 so we can say that we can connect a bridge from buses to tables and he says some buses are tables so some buses are said that if there is nothing if there is no all that means some so some buses are tables is exactly correct you need to forget this all here and some buses are tables is fine similarly some rooms are tables as we have created the connection between statement number 2 and statement number 1 so we can say that the some rooms are tables that is fine that means both of these conclusions are exactly true okay now we move forward with the question number 5 it says the conclusion number 1 that says uh, some dogs are trees okay we need to go from dog to trees and we see that the middle terms are bricks bricks and there is all and here the middle term is uh, boxes boxes and the all is associated that means you can create a connection between statement number 3 to statement number 1 so some dogs are trees dogs are here and trees are here that means the conclusion number 1 is exactly true and now we move forward with the question conclusion number 2 some bricks are trees bricks are here trees are here 
we have already made the connection between the statement number 2 and statement number 1 that means we can say some bricks are trees some bricks are trees and that is why the conclusion number 2 is also true so uh, these are the five questions I just tried to mention over here if you have the capability to practice these questions as much as possible I bet that no one can beat you in the examination hall and when uh, the more you practice the more you save time okay because I tried to uh, explain here that's why I took maybe that three or four minutes time but when uh, I'll try to go through the questions um, very quickly then I think uh, the five questions will take around only 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 one minute so this is uh, what I try to explain here let me know if you have any question regarding that you can pass comments you can contact me and then I can uh, give you the uh, explanation and all well if you guys have any question any question from the reasoning uh, from any chapter of reasoning any question from mathematics any question from English you can contact me at this email address that is bank entrances at gmail.com okay bank entrances at gmail.com this is our email id and the admin will try to get back to you as soon as possible every time you have any question any concern any uh, complication you can just uh, write down a mail and the explanation will be sent to you okay we are always trying to uh, lure the tricks which are uh, time saving and uh, which are going to uh, which are going to make you come with a flying color to the examination so that's it thank you very much for watching this video and uh, more video will come soon thank you thank you uh, very much